there are very few jobs in law enforcement that are as dynamic as this profession, okay? I am a proponent, a huge advocate for people becoming probation officers, yes. You've probably seen me on the internet talking about this a million times, but I think it's important to know the downside because obviously everything in life has good and bad, right? So let's talk about the negative side of being a probation officer. And no, it's not the clients, it's not the safety concerns, no. Let me tell you, my number one, you never feel like you catch up. You never feel like you're caught up. The paperwork of it all, all the probation officers that I've talked to, the paperwork is like number one, okay? <laughs> it's never ending. When you close one case, you're gonna get three more. So just be prepared for that. Like, I feel like I'm always spinning my wheels, so to speak, because you're, it's, you're never done. It's literally a revolving door at probation of people just in and out, in and out, in and out, in and out. So you never get that real sense of completing something because there's always gonna be the next one coming in. Most of your training is not gonna be in that academy or in that six week training course that you take when you first get hired. No, training is gonna come on the job. This is a job that you have to learn as you go. Like things come up that the training will not have will not have prepared you for. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. Um, it's, it's you're constantly learning something, which is good. Okay, that's like a pro for me actually. <laughs> but it's not like you can just learn it and go in and bam, you got it. No, it takes time. There's like a learning curve. Literally, it could take years. And then things are con consistently changing most often. Laws are changing all the time. And you have to stay abreast of these things, learn these things. So if you're not good with change and you're not good with an environment that is constantly changing and um, you have to adapt to that quickly, then you know you might want to get ready. There is a lot of red tape. It's very bureaucratic, okay? So sometimes you may want something for a client and the judge or the supervisor or the district attorney uh, may want something totally different and you have to be okay with that like your your voice matters to a certain extent but at the end of the day it is not the the officer that makes the final decision on things which is contrary to what most people believe right <laughs> they literally think the probation officer makes all the decisions like they're violating people they're sending people to jail listen most of the time it is not like that i'm going to say majority of the time it's not like that final say of taking somebody's freedom will come from a judge, typically. You will have to get comfortable with seeing people get arrested. Now that that may seem like um, something that is a no-brainer, but for me, it was not. Before getting into this profession, I had never been in criminal justice. Um, so I never saw firsthand someone getting arrested. And then someone getting arrested for something so minor, and you're looking like, are they really going to jail for this? I want the people to be ready. I want, when you go into probation, to, uh, you get that job, you know, you've been praying for it, you've been working hard, and you finally get it. I don't want you to get in there and then leave because you're blindsided and you don't, you didn't know that this was gonna happen, this is gonna happen. So, from my experience, you have to be an advocate for the people that you're serving, for your clients, for the defendants, the probationers, or whatever they call them in your area, right? You have to be an advocate for them sometimes. Yes, there are people on probation who likely deserve it. They, they may even deserve to be in prison. Let's really, let's really be real about it, right? You have to be an advocate for people. I didn't know that at first. I thought, okay, I'm gonna staff this case with the supervisor and I'm just gonna tell the supervisor, you know, X, Y, and Z from the case file and the supervisor will make the decision. But if you feel strongly about something and you know the client or the person better than the supervisor does because you are the person seeing them every month, right? So you have to be that advocate and it's okay to be the advocate. Hopefully you, you work for a department that encourages that. I did, um, which was really a good thing, but it took me some time to get comfortable with that, with me voicing my opinion, what I think should happen. Speak up, like I wish somebody had told me that it's okay. Like in the beginning, I wish somebody had told me that it's okay to speak up. We expect you to speak up. When I learned that, oh, the game changed. <laughs> and going into the job, I knew that documentation was gonna be important. It's, it's a legal field, right? Criminal justice, duh, right? Okay, but just to know how important <laughs> and why, Paperwork and documentation is so important. Knowing the why for me, like really is everything. It really changed it for me, my perspective on things. Cause if I know why I'm doing something, it makes me more inclined to do it. You know what I'm saying? Like, of course it's my job, I'm gonna do it, right? But just to know the why, it just makes it that much more important. So the why of it all, the why are you documenting every single thing? Because when you go to court, 
if you have to go to court, which most POs do, and a person is up for revocation, right? And you're going to the revocation hearing to testify or in, in the courtroom setting to testify. You need your documentation, you need your ducks in a row because the prosecutor and the, uh, what is it, the defense attorney, they are going to be coming for your neck, okay? They're coming for your neck because <laughs> it's gonna be like you're on trial, okay? They wanna make sure you did every single thing you were supposed to do. Now you're seeing 150 clients, maybe, like, I mean, a ton of clients, right? This person may have been on probation for two, three, four years, and they're asking you things that happened three years ago. And you're like, <laughs> documentation, <laughs> documentation. Literally, if you don't document it, it did not happen. So that is why documentation is so important. And I want every single PO to just be mindful of that, be reminded of that. Because even when you're doing the job, it's important to even be reminded of why it is you're doing all the, it may seem tedious in the moment and like overkill, because sometimes that's how it felt to me. But when you get on the stand, you're gonna be thanking your lucky stars that you documented every single interaction, okay? You need to cover yourself. Lastly, I would say it's the pay, okay? <laughs> the pay is not the best, okay? There's other jobs that you can do, I, I'm sure, that are less um, stressful, that are less intense, um, for more money, yeah. Literally, the gas station, not too far from my house, they pay the, the cashier there the exact same that I was getting paid as a probation officer. You mean to tell me I could just stand here and ring up people at the gas station and make the same amount of money that I have to have this, this well, I have this job and I have to have a degree and I'm under this amount of stress and this amount of pressure. So obviously, <laughs> POs don't do the job for the money. Um, so if you're new to this and you don't really know what the, or you're thinking about doing this and you don't really know what the pay is like, let me tell you, you're not gonna get rich. If you wanna get rich or at least make closer to six figures, I would say. Um, go into federal, try the federal route if you have not aged out. I thought about going federal, but no. <laughs> People ask me that all the time, I'm like, why didn't you do federal? But all the federal POs that I've talked to, they say that the money is way better than state or county probation, so. But like I said, I am a proponent and advocate for people becoming probation officers because it really is a fun job, like it legit, is a fun job if you have any questions anything you want to know please put it in the comments below because i am going to be making more videos only about things that you guys ask me about so yeah <laughs> let me plug my stuff okay facebook instagram TikTok, okay your favorite po and you can email me your favorite po at yahoo.com i do answer my emails all day every day videos if you're watching this comment down below things that we need to add to the list because we're trying to get the people ready okay <laughs> Make sure you hit that subscribe button because there will be a new video dropping every week and I don't want you to miss it, okay? So until next time, stay safe.